Get eh? All right. Now this video is in reply to Zig's video to help me out with these SARS gauges. I know the video is a bit blurry because it's coming from my phone. I searched and searched and searched the internet for instructions, but couldn't find any. And you, my friend, have come up with the best instructions I could ever dream of. Once again, I thank you a million, million, million times. Anyway. This is the pressure, oil pressure and water temperature one. I've just mounted them to the side of the dash so it's not up top or not in my way and they kind of went snug there. Um, you'll help with the wiring diagrams. I don't know if you can see, but the wiring just tucked into behind the light switch box here on my VNSS. It was, you were right, for the car and engine as well. Um, followed your instructions with all the colors the black for the ground, the orange for the battery, and so on and so on, with the green being the senders. Um, yes, I did already have the senders with the car. I only bought the car a week ago, um, and they came with the car, so that's why I wanted instructions. Um, with the actual two type of sender units, one, the temperature gauge is, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually in the radiator, just there. There was a thread and it fit, and it was perfect and went in there. And the oil sender, just as you said, it might be a bit dark. I don't know if that will change. No, unfortunately it won't. But it's down under there where the oil switch was. Um, and then grounded just into there on the chassis of the engine bay. So with the wiring and everything, your help was perfect. And I couldn't have asked for anything better. The... Also with the lights, I found the button, which is excellent, and I really appreciate you showing me inside of your car. Like you said, no one's done it before. Okay, but now, unfortunately, we do have a small problem, and I'll show you, by starting this car, I'll show you what I get. All right, if you, hopefully you can hear me, Anyway, my water meter reads good, perfect. At the moment the engine's cold, but I'm getting it about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. But the oil pressure has started at zero and gone all the way around and ended up down here. So when you do install yours, I would like to know if you do get the same problem that I have, or if not, you know, I've done a lot of search and people say it could be the grounding in the engine bay and so on. I'll just leave it to accessories, you can still hear it. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting this problem here now that if I turn it off and you watch carefully, it goes back to zero. I give it power. Water temp's perfect, but this one, not so perfect. And I've saved the light as white and I'll show you. So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. So the lights come up as a nice white, however I can get focused stupid phone but yeah so once again i thank you a million times i can't thank you enough you've been massive massive help and definitely definitely let me know how you go with your pressure gauge see if you run the same hiccups as me if i sort this one out i'll let you know also you're a legend